Many of the ideas on which modern science is based were born in Florence. But while the scientists and inventors of the past still enjoy greater notoriety than those working here today, the quest for scientific discovery and technological advancement continues. Those outside of scientific circles don't tend to associate Florence with modern technology. International attention focuses on its role in early discoveries and its Renaissance-era scientific achievements. But there is a solid core of high-tech activity in and around Florence. Often uh, you think of Florence as something related just to cultural and architectural issues and historical issues, which certainly these are the basis of our, uh, of our city. But in reality we have a lot of science and technologies here, uh, historically uh, developed. Uh, we go from uh, chemists to engineering. Uh, we have a, a strong relation to broad and European activities in the high-tech sector. So in this moment we are quite well located uh, in the uh, research area in this, in this field. The region of Tuscany is highly geared towards advanced mechanics. Florence has found its strengths in biomedical life sciences, electronics, optoelectronics and optics, and the manufacture of scientific instruments. Also significant is the ICT sector, bolstered by Florence's tradition in telecommunications. Tuscany is a major exporter for Italy of technological products and is also an exporter of ideas and knowledge, developed in both private and public research systems. Industrial research and development commissioned by companies based abroad accounts for a large chunk of the region's high-tech sector revenue. Francesco Pavoni and Massimo Ignuccio, two acclaimed scientists working at the Lens Laboratory, which focuses on research in light waves, say that the high concentration of both national and international institutes and universities in Florence is an attraction for companies, as is the network of innovative local SMEs with which to partner. They can point to a long list of successful collaborations with major players in the private sector. Foreign companies engaged in advanced engineering and R&D activity in Florence include GE Oil & Gas, Japanese diesel engine maker Yanmar, and Talus, a French multinational that makes electrical systems for the aerospace, defense, transportation, and security industries. Talus has over the years transformed its site in Florence from one of mostly laborers to a high-level engineering center employing 200 people, most of them engineers. This region and is very attractive from a skills point of view and also from it's very dynamic in terms of PMI, small and medium enterprises that can support and give us their contribution uh, to develop our solutions. So from Florence we export technology, from Florence we address all the market worldwide and these are key for the development of, also of Thales Group. Technology, of course, underpins all of the other sectors which form the basis of the economy of Florence. And the city's core sectors are woven together like a fine Renaissance tapestry. Any sector can be interesting, but what makes them particularly relevant, what makes particularly interesting for foreign investors is the fact they're interlinked. Take, for example, culture. Culture is our sort of bread and, bread and butter. However, fruition of culture, uh, restoration of culture, uh, needs technology. And obviously culture spills off into, into fashion, for instance. So what you have here, I think, it's a good mix, good blend of uh, excellences from education to high tech to design to fashion.